Hi everyone, thank you very much for watching this video. This is John Media again. Hope that you're doing fine. Hope that you're getting through this quarantine very well. I know that it is not easy, but we're gonna get through this. I know this. And so today we're gonna see this topic here, which is called selectors. I, I hope that this can be uh, helpful for people that is starting with uh, automation in general and also Manipul and also I have some trouble manipulating elements with Test Cafe, so that's why I'm creating this video. And I hope that I can provide some tools for this kind of people that uh, need some help. So, well, let's start, I guess. Um, so the topic is selector, and I want to show you the documentation here. Uh, what is a selector object? Basically, a selector is the um, what identifies page elements and it allows us to perform actions, for example, clicking, dragging, and among others. And we can check their state uh, for uh, a future assertion to see if something is, is going well, it is... Uh, uh, it is behaving as expected, for example. So basically, that's a selector. Uh, it, it is what helps us to ident identify elements in DOM. <laughs> All right, so you might be wondering how I can work with selectors with Test Cafe. All right, we just have to import the selector uh, library from Test Cafe. And after that, we just have to create a variable, for example, and just. Um, um, put an equal there and call the selector um, word and pass the selector that we need. In this particular case, Test Cafe has um, everything oriented to CSS selectors. I think that it is an amazing approach since it is way too fast than XPath, and I guess that it is an amazing approach that they decided to take. For example, here we have different methods that we have available for us to use. I'm going to I'm going to try to explain you the the best or the useful ones that I found and I hope that you that you like this. All right? Let's start. All right. The first example here is um let me see. Let me let's keep this test. Um all right, as I told you before, I just have to import the selector library from Test Cafe, as the documentation said, and I'm going to use in this website, uh, tools.qa.com. My idea is um, to come here, click on web tables, and after that, get this text, which is web tables here, and print it on the console. That's the test flow that I want to keep. It is very easy. As you see but I guess that you can take uh, what you need from this scenario and apply it for your real scenarios that might be causing some trouble and <laughs> I hope that I really hope that this find you well and, and get you out of some troubles right so basically um, all right let's see the first test here I'm gonna delete the dot skip in order to run this and basically what it does is um, it creates an L and selector, I'm sorry, um, a variable, a const variable, and I assign this selector with, with the ID item dash three. What is this? Let me show you. With Google Chrome, I can come here. Um, as soon as the website is loaded, it is going to be loading the text box um, button here. As default, so basically we have text box here. My idea is to uh, get the web table element here with the ID. How I can do this? Basically with this um, number symbol and pointing out to the item tree um, attribute that it has. So as you can see, I'm gonna just uh, place this selector, this, this pointing, and assigning it to the to this variable. So the next step that we have to that we not we have to do is um, all right. 
use the test cafe API just using await T which uh, representates or acts as the web browser you're gonna see this actually you saw it in the last video it is going to act as Google Chrome it represents it and for example we can click through it just using dash uh, I'm sorry dot click and passing out this uh, selector which is the the li that we need to click basically is this one as you may see here all right you click here you should get this text at the top of your website or our our website in this case <laughs> amazing so basically um that's the flow that i want to follow and i placed a wait uh, command here to see to for you to see how it is working in execution time and after that uh, i'm gonna do something similar to get the text web tables here as you might see it has a class main header so basically i just place a, a dot over here to get the the pointer as expected i assign it to the header selector const variable and after that i just create another variable in order to get the inner text of it and as soon as i have this uh, done i want to get this uh, printed out in the console log of um, of our visual studio code so let's try it basically what i uh, how i run it as i as i explained to you in the past video in the package.json file i have this script which is the test demo and um, basically it has the test cafe word here and uh, after that i specify the web browser that i want to use for testing and then the path that i want to use for for to run my scripts basically in this particular case i use test a folder as main folder in this particular case after that i a point to the session to folder two and i want to run everything or every uh, file that has that js at the end of it uh, at the end of the file in this particular case i just have selectors that js so basically it is going to be the same if i write, write this or selector uh, that js but right i just want to place uh, this character here to show you how it works amazing i'm gonna save this file in order to run this and let's start and give you this example i guess it is opening up the instance instance of um, google chrome it is opening up the text box as default it is clicking up the web tables uh, button and the the script is actually getting the web tables text that was placed at the top of the website with the class main header so that's good right we have uh, used selector library for the first time and i guess that it should be very clear so please feel free if i am uh, if i'm not explaining this well um, in the comments i i'm gonna very happy to help you out with this no worries all right so we have the first uh, example uh, working as expected amazing i'm gonna skip this test which is this this particular keyword is basically to skip the test um, as you can see i have another uh, test skipped i just want uh, to be running one on one so basically i'm gonna be deleting the that skip word as soon as i pass to the next example all right excellent let's start with the two the, the, with the second test example all right let me show you um i guess that um, this is another way to do this i'm gonna try to get you uh, two different point of views of how we can use selectors in this particular case i'm going to be using a different way which is a function and for example at the top of the script i have this particular function here let me show you i have this one element with id basically it is going it is going to be a function um 
which is gonna be receiving an ID and after at, after that with vanilla JavaScript I just want to get the element by ID of the document so basically I just come to, to here to show you uh, with more detail basically when I click on the element I just call the function and send the parameter of the ID that I want to find so it is basically the same flow than the last test as you might see here I declared a variable with the selector pointing to this ID <laughs> with this uh, character number character however there is another way to do this there is another way to handle it test cafe allows us to do this in different ways and this is just another example of how you can handle this good element with ID using vanilla JavaScript returning the document uh, that get element by ID I'm sorry this one and using the ID that we want to pass all right so basically as you can see I'm gonna try to run this test out to see to show you how this this worked is basically the same flow it is gonna upload or it is gonna open in the instance let me see what happened I guess that all right mm, function oh all right I didn't save the, the file so it, it is it wasn't opening any <laughs> any test all right it should um charge the website that we want all right textbooks it is gonna click on web tables again using the id and after that it is going to also uh, print that uh, what we want right web tables that's amazing so this is another way that uh, we have to to use selectors uh, with parameters so yeah i hope that you find this useful all right i guess that i'm gonna show you another example um over here which is the options dependency um test cafe allows us to do this i'm gonna show you the the official documentation i guess let me let me see where was it constructor um, all right we have different options to handle selectors basically it, it allows us to do something when we have a persistent ID or some selector or some element which is gonna be repeating uh, so many times in a test flow for example in this case in my case for example we have tools QA and I think that in this particular case the item 3 ID is gonna be very repetitive if if I want to to do this in a better way I could use this approach which is basically create um a dependency i'm gonna show you how to do this but basically let me let me see because my monitor <laughs> turns off suddenly all right let me give you three seconds i'm back um basically we declared declared um a persistent id in an object notation with a key value i'm gonna show you this in a real example just give me a, a couple of minutes or seconds actually and after that we're gonna create a function very similar to the one that I created here to to send a parameter for a function very very similar however in this particular case since the element is very repetitive we don't want to send and send over again the same parameter right it is gonna be a persistent uh, parameter so basically what it does what we can do here is call a dependency all right and pass the same um, parameter here always where we want to call this particular function or variable element let me try to give you uh, another context here um, all right i get this done i'm gonna skip the second test we have seen it already all right and this is the example that i have for you let me give you example all right i have created here um a persistent id just as the documentation show us 
and it is gonna be item three all right as you remember it basically points to the item three which is, which is a web tables here the li all right amazing and i want to always get the element or get the selector with this id so basically we just have to avoid uh, the parameter that we we expected for example here and just use this dependency and instantiate the variable over here also in in object uh, notation and after that we just have to use this parameter here to get the id that we want to use you may be wondering how actually you call this in your test <laughs> and that is very that's very useful i guess since you since you can see here it's we just have to call the element and it is doing all of that under your hood it is going to get the the selector already and it is going to be using the dependency here to get the selector working it, it is another approach it might be useful in some cases and i just wanted to let you know that this possibility exists and i hope that you that you get this all right so basically i'm gonna i'm gonna, gonna run this to show you that it works all right it is instantiating the the web browser in this particular case google chrome all right it is clicking as expected and it should get the web tables uh, header at at the top of the page and print of on console amazing that's good i guess that uh, i hope that you get the point and um, let me get you a little context of how test cafe explained this for example this uh, this is the, the explanation that they gave us use this option to pass functions variables or objects to selectors um the dependencies objects properties are added to the function scope as variables basically use the dependencies instead of the function arguments if you do not need to pass new values every time you call the selector and uh, that's how it works i hope that you like this and um, i just want to let you know that this exists there are multiple approaches over there and i'm just giving you a possibility and i hope that that, that you like this all right i guess that this video is is gonna be long or very extensive if i continue it so i guess that i'm gonna do a second part uh, in the next days with the the other examples that i have for you here so i hope that you like this please let me know if you have any doubt in the comments i'm gonna be very happy to help you out with anything that you face and um, please subscribe if you like this video if you want to keep watching this kind of content and i hope that everything is fine and please uh, subscribe and and be patient for me since i'm having a lot of work and i, I i'm having some kind of troubles to get more videos more content but i'm gonna try to be <laughs> more regular i promise so goodbye thank you very much for watching bye bye